Yo, Capsicorp, Dr. Frio11 here. Here's an interesting question. What is the smartest way to get stronger? Say hey, subscribe today, let's play the Frio11 way. Now, upon our journeys through space and fighting aliens such as Frieza, Kui, Dodoria, Zarbon, the totally shocked. We have encountered many, many beings that have more seemingly strength than us. And this is mainly due not to the power of their punch, but to their key attacks. Very interesting, right? Well, not only that, but they seem to have a higher cognitive function that allows them to take a punch better than a normal player would. You, you could argue and say that they're quite durable. And that is exactly it. They, they are more durable than us players. But why is that? Well, according to all the research done here in this uncompleted building that even has no walls done yet, we can conclude that they are durable for the sake of their own survival. They are meant to be a challenge to overcome in the long run. So how do we overcome the odds and keep getting stronger, but do it faster and smarter? Well, first we have to ask ourselves, what is a punch? Now, unless you're like three years old and watching this video somehow, you know that a punch is a ball of fingers that are condensed together to form a fist heading at a high velocity toward a target. In Minecraft, a punch is a simple left click of the mouse button. A swing of the arm, if you would. Notice that the arm is on a pivot and it swings forward as it strikes. That's not really important, I just wanted you to acknowledge it. But we all know a basic Minecraft punch translates to half a heart of damage. Now, this isn't normal Minecraft. This is modded Minecraft. This is Dragon Ball Minecraft. Which means there are different variables and different factors as to what a punch is. For instance, if something were to punch me from regular Minecraft, it would do around one health. That is, one of these little blue things in the corner. And this is because those things are counting the half health points that make up a full Minecraft heart. Here we have Kami. Kami's health is around 10,000. From what memory serves, I, I don't have damage indicators anymore. But I cannot damage Kami. This is because the mod simply just won't let me, he's, he's God, so I apparently have to pay some sort of respect, and I don't want to pay any respect! <laughs> but moving on, before I get kicked off the lookout, I cannot damage Kami, but I can damage whatever enemies I have to face. And these next enemies are not ordinary, and they are incredibly strong. You might argue that I could just turn Ascended Saiyan. But there's a catch to that, and it's a reason why I don't want to use it. So, Dr. Frio11, how exactly do you plan to get stronger, faster, and smarter? And why did you ask what a punch was? Seems very strange, right? Let's cross dimensions real quick. In here, the gravity is around 10 times stronger than outside this room. If I didn't have the power level that I have right now, I would not be able to move as freely or as quickly. Power levels. They are not important. What is, however, important is stat levels. As you can see right now, this room is limiting both my speed and my strength by a factor of minus nine. So the gravity in here is around nine times stronger than Earth. The concept of the hyperbolic time chamber is it is causing my muscles to both move slower and as such have less strength. And because they're moving slower, that means that my muscles are unable 
to take that gravity head on like the gravity out there. So earlier in the video, I asked what a punch was. A Minecraft punch is a simple half heart piece of damage done by a left click. However, a Dragon Block C punch is very different. Depending on these different stat levels, you do different amounts of damage. You can see that when I power down, my damage is currently zero. This doesn't mean that when I punch I do no damage, it means I do half a heart of damage. If I were to power up to say 50% or beyond, just slightly beyond, you can see that I do 183 damage. That's 183 total health points every time I punch. Why is this important? Well, it's important because mobs have very large health quantities. And even though I'm punching at this rate, a mob can absorb that power. It can tank it, essentially. But unlike us, the mobs don't heal. Which is why leveling up that stat is important for kicking mob ass, but why is it sometimes a bad thing to level up? Why have I kept it as low as I have for so long and not put all my stuff into it? Well, it's because this stat declares how many punches you can also do to a target. And a punch is very different in terms of DBC, because not only are you intentionally hurting a target, you are also gaining XP. The normal amount of punches it takes for you to earn a little bit of XP in the Dragon Block C mod is around 10. 10 strikes to an object will give you points. You do not need to go on any missions to do this, you can just punch a target a lot. The trouble is when you get to this kind of strength and you're not doing any more large punches. You are having to find hundreds of targets, hundreds of dinos, and most people will make the mistake of training in Super Saiyan. And some will even train in Super Saiyan wearing the weight to make the show, but not realize that even though it's minusing a lot of your damage, that is still quite a lot of damage you are capable of doing. So how do I deal with my damage problem? Well, there are a couple ways of going about it. One of them is a technique that I was taught a very long time ago, where you stay at 5% of your full base form power, and that 16 damage is now significantly lowered. But there's a catch. If I go outside, that's even more. It's 26 damage. I could essentially one punch any normal mob. However, if I put on this shirt, you'll notice that I now do nine damage. This is better, but not exactly what I want. And even though I'm doing less damage, I am unable to move nearly as quick. So fighting is not very optimal like this. Let's move away from Minecraft terminology for a minute. In real life, martial artists practice something called drills. These are not electrical in any way and do not undo or do up screws. Drills are used to train martial artists to react. They can be stagnant, where a martial artist will stay still and do them over and over and over again on a punch bag or another type of training equipment, or they can be done with a partner. Now, the trouble in Minecraft is we don't exactly have a partner to do this with in here, which makes this a lot harder. However, what we do have and what I have used is a training dummy, a shadow dummy. This shadow dummy is an exact replica of my skills. It has more health than me and can do the same amount of damage, roughly. But it does more damage because this one is actually powered up. You can see it damaging me right now significantly. So how do I combat this 
if I can't move? Well, I can't. I would most likely be like this, and he would get close to killing me, but he won't. A good thing about the Shadow Dummy is that it will not kill you in game. So, how do we use this to our advantage? How do we trap a Shadow Dummy? Well, one thing that I've thought of is if I grab this cobblestone and I lay out a path of one, two, three, four, and five, and I stand on the fifth one on the end. If I spawn in a shadow dummy now, it spawns directly on the one I am in. That is not good. Another thing that it does is constantly teleport. So trying to trap something like this is not going to work out, like at all. Die from it. However, you could notice I have earned some XP from battling it. So what is the best way for us to get stronger? It is to simply have this number be decreased to the point where it is one damage or possibly a little bit higher and then spam hits what I can that has plenty of health. Now there is something I can do here. It's called either an android or another word for it, an NPC. Okay, I've talked like Michael from Vsauce for, for long enough. So I can use an NPC basically. I can get an NPC wand and I can create a training partner or a training dummy. This can be a dummy of any skin, I might make a custom skin for it, and this dummy will constantly be in here for me to fight. The question is, do I make it have a lot of health and be stagnant so I can punch it repeatedly to gain XP, or do I make it constantly fight me? Which is the better option? In terms of gaining raw power, it is better to have a stagnant dummy stay in one position, possibly even blocked around so it can't move, and me repeatedly strike it because that would earn me a ton of XP. But that necessarily won't help as much if I'm unable to properly dodge out the way of an attack. So, in a way, this does help, and it might help for our next fight since we're fighting androids, and they are quite stagnant. They don't teleport to you like some of the bigger villains do. So, moving away from punches, we also have an alternative for taking out bosses. Blasts. Blasts are incredible. They are incredibly strong, incredibly versatile, and there are many ways to use blasts. I just demonstrated one because I like blasts. I just noticed I went back to talking like Vsauce. So how can I win by using a blast? Well, by upgrading my mind, spirit, and will, I can condition a blast that will be a wave and I will be able to use this wave against an opponent. All I would have to do is make them track me in a typical Minecraft fashion like a zombie and then I would just have to charge and fire. But I would not do it at 100%. The best way that I can see a blast working is starting off in maybe Super Saiyan at 5%, and then firing a wave attack directly at the enemy at near point blank range, but not quite. This means that the enemy can't hit you and that you have time to evade if there's a blast coming from the enemy that's too strong. You fire the blast at 5% and as you're firing, charge. This reduces the key cost of the blast yet keeps the damage increasing as the blast wave after wave hits the opponent. It's a great way to diminish a health bar and it is a great way to get through the sagas. But do we want to do that? The purpose of this video today was simply to ask which path do we take? 
blast happy? Do we take punch happy, blast happy? The same path we've been going on, or do we take another path all together? But Liam, what is this little path you speak of? I had to do it at some point in the video, guys. I just had to. Well, the last path that I speak of is what I refer to as the balance path. And it's the path where I will set up a time and I will create a room, a training room, which I'm sure many of you would like to see, where I am constantly having to not only hit a target, but to dodge targets trying to hit me. A room kind of like a capsule corporation gravity room. That's, that's what I was thinking of, gravity room. Now, the gravity room cannot actually um, minus gravity like in here, but I can supply these weighted t-shirts using NPCs and hopefully I can get them to get whatever size I want so I can customize the gravity. And what this will do is train me to react to things that might instantly kill me. I can set the damage on all the NPCs to be either intense or low intensity, and it will train me to react to whatever they do so I don't get hit by NPCs. But I wanna know what path you guys want me to take now. I've explained the different ways that we can get stronger faster, from uh, an analytical point of view, and I wanna know your decisions. What is your choice? So, that should be it for this video. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed, share this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Um num num. Dr. 311 out from Capsicorp.